hey guys what's up what it do welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Casey and if you are new please take one second go down below hit that subscribe button okay and click that little bell button so you'll never miss when I post a new video so today um, we're going to do a little talk through I'm gonna talk to you guys about my hair journey so far um, it is what's today today is April 17th and so I'm kind of behind on my updates because I hit two months since I shaved my hair on April 4th but I've kind of been avoiding filming because I've been going through some things with my skin and I just also haven't really been feeling that well not corona not corona so today I just wanted to sit down talk to you guys about my hair so far talk to you guys about the products I'm using and show you guys how I define my curls because I do have curls coming in okay and maybe for some of you that might be struggling with like the beginning stages of having a TWA or a freshly shaved head this video could help you out I do have an update video that I did after one month on March 4th and so you can check that out I do have a full playlist with all the videos from this healthy hair journey so definitely check out the playlist if you are a little bit behind on what's going on sorry I have like one shoulder out and one shoulder in my house is really bipolar right now like one minute it's cold one minute it's hot even when I change the temperature so that's why I have like one shoulder out and one shoulder covered my body doesn't really know like which one it wants So a little bit about the journey if you're new here. This is not my first big chop. Um, I've actually been natural for about seven years. I did my first big chop in February of 2013. So I literally just hit seven years being natural or since having a relaxer. I've grown out my hair, cut my hair, grown out my hair, cut my hair several times in the past seven years, just trying things, experimenting things. Also still in the learning process with trying to figure out my hair because Prior to that, I was getting relaxers all the time. I just didn't know anything about my hair. Didn't know what my curl pattern looked like. Didn't know, you know, what products to use. And so I messed up sometimes in my journey. Had to cut it, messed up again, cut it, colored it. Did a whole bunch of stuff. I actually really started a hair growth journey last year in 2019. I had grown my hair out for about eight months and then I colored it back in December or like the end of November of 2019. And when I colored it, I kind of just ruined my curl pattern. It defeated the purpose of me doing a hair growth journey again because my curls were really messed up. So I just decided to cut it all off and actually start over. Knowing everything I know now, knowing the products my hair likes, knowing the techniques that my hair likes, knowing what my hair can and cannot handle, and just start fresh and do it the right way. So I officially started my actual healthy hair journey. I'm not gonna say hair growth because it's always health over growth. So on February 4th, that is when I just completely shaved my head off. I had a barber shave it for me. And since then, I've just been growing it out with no color, no heat. And so I just hit two months on April 4th. Okay, so I just took a shower, as you guys can probably tell, and I always wash my hair in the shower. I just enjoy doing that. I have been pretty much just using the Curl Smith scalp line, looks like this, to wash and condition my hair. Since I am starting from literally a freshly shaved head, um, scalp health has been really important to me because when my hair was longer and I have these really tight kinks and curls, I wasn't really focused on scalp health. It was a lot harder to focus on the health of my scalp. But now starting over, it's like so easy. So um, I really wanted to use products that are going to just make my scalp the perfect place for healthy hair to grow. So I've really been loving this Curl Smith line. You start off with the Super Slip Prebiotic Primer. At first I was like, what the heck is the point of a primer for your scalp? But it really does make a difference. And then after applying this to your scalp, you go straight in with the Wash and Scrub Detox probiotic you don't rinse it out you just put this on first put this on top and this actually has some mini micro exfoliants that help to exfoliate the scalp which means it's deeply cleansing the scalp getting rid of dead skin cells opening up the follicles it has apple cider vinegar organic ginger root um, just really good things for the scalp and then after using the primer and the shampoo then I will go in with the curl smith postbiotic calming conditioner now this right here is bae I used this in my last update video I'll use this even if I don't use um, the other two steps because you can use this whenever I love products that make my scalp tingle I just love the feeling and this has peppermint um, it has tea tree it's also super moisturizing it has hyaluronic acid in it highly recommend this conditioner not even just for scalp health but it's really moisturizing as well
So in my one month update video, I didn't have curls yet. Like I had little tiny curls, but I was still wearing my hair kind of like in its way state. So now I've upgraded to curls. I actually prefer to style my hair inside the shower, but just for talk through purposes, I decided to sit down and do it. So first things first, like I said, I actually prefer to do my hair in the shower. But since I'm not in the shower, I had to bring the shower to me. I'm just going to uh, resaturate my hair with some water. I find that when I define my curls on a super wet hair, it just makes the style come out a lot better. When my hair is longer, it definitely makes it easier to apply the product through. It also kind of combats shrinkage a little bit. Okay, so now my hair is super, super wet. So I kind of sort of follow the lock method when it comes to moisturizing and styling my curls. I'm still using the same water-based leave-in that I used in my one month update. This is the Shea Moisture Cannabis Hemp Seed Oil Lush Leave-In. I really like this leave-in. Um, it has hemp seed oil, which is really good for high porosity hair. It's known for its vitamin E and omegas, really moisturizing. It also has ginseng root, which is known for its revitalizing properties. It's also really good for your scalp. It also has horsetail extract, which is known for its mineral content. Make it look a little bit more alive. This leave-in is really lightweight but like I said I kind of just like to use it as my water-based leave-in so the O in lock stands for oil and I'm still using the same oil that I used in my one month update this is a hair growth oil it's from SP Beauty Loft it's all natural it's packed with a bunch of essential oils natural oils herbs it has a bunch of vitamins in it and it's just really good for simulating the scalp you can obviously use any oil of your choice. I do focus this mostly on my scalp. I don't really put it on my hair that much, but it has that same tingling effect that I love. It has peppermint in it. It also has needle in it. It does kind of have a strong scent, but when you layer it with other products, you don't smell it as much. And honestly, I just take my time massaging it into my scalp. It feels so good. Scalp massaging is really beneficial for hair growth as well. So just take your time, enjoy it. You're probably stuck in quarantine just like me right now. So you have nowhere special to be. Just massage it in, make it feel good. Like make it a moment for yourself. Okay, so we got the L, we got the O, and now the C and lock stands for cream. And when it comes to using a cream, you just wanna use things that have sealing properties. It doesn't have to necessarily be like a thick butter. I really love the Miss Jessie's Honey Curls. This is technically a leave-in conditioner, but it's super thick. And I feel like it really helps to prep my curls before putting on my styling product. I also love that it kinda of has this like tacky consistency. It has sweet almond oil, it has honey in it. On the front, it even and says that it's good for defining curls, wash and go styling, rod sets, conditioning holds, and natural styling. It literally makes my hair feel so soft. It adds so much shine and I can just feel my curls clumping together which really helps me to be able to style my hair once I'm done applying it. Okay, so last but not least, I need a gel to hold my curls together. And again, before I apply products to my hair, I gotta add some more water. You guys, it really makes a big difference when the hair is really, really saturated, especially when it comes to the styling part for the gel. Now, I honestly have a bunch of gels that I like. I'll put a list somewhere on the screen of other gel options, but my current favorite is actually a new Eco Styler gel that just came out not too long ago. This is the Eco Style KGF, and KGF basically stands for keratin growth factor. It's supposed to help promote thicker, fuller hair. It has biotin, panthenol, mountain daisy, and nice Neosin? I think that's how you say it. And just like most of the other eco stylers that I like, it is Max Hold 10. Now I can't really attest to if it actually helps the hair grow or not because I've only been using it for about three weeks now. Something else that I really like to do too is just take my palm and move it in the direction that my hair grows. Now you can feel the way that your curls are coming in by the way that your curls are spiraling, especially if you have kinky hair or if you have like really tightly textured hair, you can literally feel the direction that your hair is growing. So I just take my palm and I go in circles. It kind of gives that same effect that a like hair sponge would do, but I don't like using sponges on my hair. I feel like they're just a little too rough. Plus my curls are naturally very defined, so I don't need to use a sponge. Well, I won't say my curls are naturally defined, but they're very tightly textured naturally. So when I apply my styling products to them, it just really helps to enhance them. Also, I wanna make a quick disclaimer. I know a lot of people are under the impression that there are products that can create a curl pattern for you. That's not true. Most hair products, well, all hair products, especially gels, they're only made to enhance the definition that you already have. You cannot create a curl pattern with a 
hair product like it's just not possible the way that i'm applying products to my hair right now is literally just defining the curl that naturally comes from my hair but when i apply water to it it helps to enhance them even more and then the gel just holds it in place so your natural curl pattern is the way that your hair looks when it's wet that's it the only thing gels can do for that is enhance it and hold it okay so last but not least i'm going to apply my edge control i don't know why everybody's not talking about this edge control it's new and it's so bomb this is the my black is beautiful edge slayer with golden milk honey and coconut oil this is a new brand that is sold at sally's this edge control is so bomb it is so thick it's definitely an all-day hold um, it's very flexible so like let's say you use it one day but you need to touch up your edges the next day it's not gonna leave like a tacky feeling so you can just go back we wet your hair and then put more on definitely doesn't flake it smells really good to me when your hair is at this stage and you don't have much curl <laughs> the edges really do make a difference it makes the style just look a lot more sleek okay so the edges are done last but not least we need to dry it now most of the time i'll just completely air dry but sometimes i do like to just diffuse my hair i'm still using the same diffuser that I've been using this is actually the moroccan oil blow dryer not cheap not cheap but it is a really good blow dryer like when i use this and compare it to other blow dryers i'm like there's a big difference so this actually comes with a diffuser attachment mine is kind of dirty because i think i tried to use it when i had first dyed my hair red so you could literally see like the red residue still on it but yeah i just put it on like this and then i can diffuse Another reason I really like diffusing is because you actually get to see your hair completely dry before you leave the house. Even when you have short curls, um, sometimes it can look different and I feel like the diffusing process just freezes the hair how it is. So you don't have to worry about it moving or frizzing up. I do diffuse my hair on high heat and on the highest setting. So I'll be right back. I'm going to do my makeup and get ready and then I will come back to close out this video and give some little final updates. I literally just filmed this face on the video that I posted yesterday yesterday so go check that out if you haven't already but yeah i just pretty much wanted to close out this video one big thing i forgot to mention in the beginning is that i am no longer taking the main choice hair growth vitamin i've been having some problems with my skin and i honestly don't know if it is the hair growth pills but i just kind of eliminated things out of my diet to help clear my skin so i stopped taking those about maybe two weeks ago so i'm gonna stop taking those um i might try again in a few months but right now no hair growth pills just the hair growth oil also also i noticed that this side of my head i don't know if you guys can tell but this side right look at this side this side it's way thinner and it doesn't grow as fast it's probably not that visible on camera but I mentioned that in my last update video, but it's like super apparent now. And I'm like, should I cut it? Not cut it, but like when it grows out longer, should I keep this side? Like, should I cut this side so it's always even or just like keep it uneven? Like, mind blown. Something else I've been doing as well, um, since we're in quarantine, I don't really style my hair that much this is actually the first time i'm styling my hair in a minute so i will be doing another video soon showing you guys what i like to do to just moisturize my hair when i need it and like not styling it like not using a gel just the leave-in the oil and then a moisturizing product that video is coming soon i promise other than that i have nothing else for you guys hopefully you enjoyed it if you did give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hopefully i'll see you guys all in the next video Bye.